Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is part of a series of electrical calculation guides and I will add a link to the playlist at the top of the screen. This video is intended as a guide for those working in the industry and the topics are based on questions that I'm asked from time to time and of my experience of over more than 20 years. I've talked about maximum demand and diversity in previous videos. However, in this video, I want to do something a bit different as a lot of the time we need to do diversity calculations when we're on site and might not have a calculator's hand. So in this video, I'm going to share a tip on calculating diversity for a cooker circuit, which can be done in one step and is even possible to do on a smartphone. So the diversity allowance for a cooker and a domestic installation is the first 10 amps plus 30% of the remainder and plus 5 amps if a socket outlet is incorporated in the cooker switch, according to table A2 in the on-site guide. Please note that allowances are different for business premises or hotels, so please refer to the on-site guide for more information. So you'll be familiar with the way that we calculate the design current by dividing the power by the voltage. So if we take the example of a 12 kilowatt cooker, the design current would be 52.17 amps. The diversity can be applied by using this formula, which can be done in one step on a calculator. So by having 52.17 minus 10 in brackets gives us a remainder, and then by dividing by 100 and multiplying by 30 gives us 30% of the remainder, and by adding 10, which is the first 10 amps, we can then add the 5 amps if there is a socket in the cooker outlet. This calculation below can be added in one step on a calculator. The reason it's possible to enter this equation in one go is because in equations anything in brackets is calculated first, followed by the division, then the multiplication, and then the addition and subtraction. So here we have an example calculation which I've recorded using the calculator on my phone. So we take the first 10 amps plus 30, multiply by, and then in brackets, 52.17, minus 10 to give us the remainder, and then we divide by 100. So that gives us the current after diversity of 22.65 amps. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel where I hope to add more videos on electrical engineering subjects.